Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mino at AngloLink. Today we have another video on conversational English for you and the topic we have chosen is welcoming visitors. As always, we're going to be looking at both informal and formal expressions in this context. The first dialogue takes place in the informal setting of welcoming someone to your house. And the second dialogue takes place in the formal setting of welcoming a business associate to your company. Once you have heard both dialogues, we're going to break them down into smaller units and compare the different formal and informal styles and expressions. The third part of this presentation is a gap-filling exercise to get you to practice these two dialogues more actively and memorize some of the useful expressions in them. By the end of the video, you will have all the expressions you need to welcome visitors, both in an informal and a formal situation. So when you're ready, we can begin. Welcoming visitors. Dialogue one. Informal and friendly. Welcoming a friend at home. Oh, hi, Jane. Come in. It's really nice to see you. Lovely to see you too. You're looking great. Thanks. So are you. Let me take your coat. OK, here you go. Come through to the living room and make yourself at home. I'll tell Dave you're here. What can I get you to drink? I don't mind, really, as long as it's hot. What have you got? I've made some fresh tea, but you can also have coffee or hot chocolate. Tea will be lovely, thanks. How do you take your tea? Tiny bit of milk. No sugar, please. Here we go, your tea and some homemade cookies. Ah, oh, my favourites. Thanks. You're welcome. How was your trip? I hit some traffic on the motorway, but quite smooth overall. Excellent. How's your mum? She's very well. She sent her love. It's a shame she couldn't be here today. It is. She'd have loved to see you both, but she had an appointment she couldn't get out of. Well, next time, I hope. Lunch will be ready soon. We thought we could go for a walk around town afterwards. You haven't really seen much of the town, have you? No, I haven't. That'd be great. I can hear Dave coming down now. He'll keep you company while I serve lunch. Great. It smells wonderful. Now let's look at dialogue two, formal and businesslike. Welcoming someone at the office. Good morning, Miss Bennett. Do come in. Welcome. It's nice to see you again. And you. I've been very much looking forward to this visit. So have we. May I take your coat? Certainly. Here you are. Please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. I'll tell Mr. Jensen you're here. Would you like something to drink? Yes. I wouldn't mind a hot drink, if at all possible. Of course. We have tea, coffee and hot chocolate. What would you prefer? Coffee would be great, thank you. How would you like your coffee? A drop of milk and one sugar, please. Here you are. Please help yourself to the cookies. 
They look delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you have any trouble finding the way? No, the directions you sent me were very clear, and there was hardly any traffic on the road. Excellent. How's Mr. Samuels? He's very well. He sends his regards. It's a pity he couldn't join us today. Indeed. He would have really liked to come, but unfortunately he wasn't able to rearrange his schedule. Well, I certainly hope he can join you on your next visit. As for today's schedule, we thought we could have lunch first and then show you around the company. How does that sound to you? Very good. I'd really like to see your design centre. Certainly. Well, I think that's Mr. Jensen coming now. I'll leave you in his good hands while I make the lunch arrangements. Splendid. Thank you very much. Right then, we're now going to compare the styles and expressions of the two dialogues section by section. As we go through them, you will notice that the formal style generally includes longer sentences, more advanced structures, and more formal vocabulary. Okay, starting with the first sentence of the informal dialogue. Oh, hi Jane, come in. It's really nice to see you. Compare it with the first sentence in the formal dialogue. Good morning, Miss Bennett. Do come in. Welcome. It's nice to see you again. Let's look at the second sentences. Lovely to see you too. You're looking great. Compared to... And you. I've been very much looking forward to this visit. Thanks, so are you. Let me take your coat. Compare that to... So have we. May I take your coat? Okay, here you go. Let's see how we can make that more formal. Certainly, here you are. Let's look at the next section. The starting sentence in the informal dialogue is... Come through to the living room and make yourself at home. I'll tell Dave you're here. What can I get you to drink? Let's look at the formal style. Please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. I'll tell Mr. Jensen you're here. Would you like something to drink? I don't mind really, as long as it's hot. What have you got? Let's make that more formal. Yes, I wouldn't mind a hot drink, if at all possible. I've made some fresh tea, but you can also have coffee or hot chocolate. Of course, we have tea, coffee and hot chocolate. What would you prefer? Let's look at the third section of the two dialogues and compare the styles. Tea will be lovely, thanks. Coffee would be great, thank you. How do you take your tea? How would you like your coffee? Tiny bit of milk, no sugar, please. A bit more formal. A drop of milk and one sugar, please. Here we go, your tea and some homemade cookies. Here you are. Please help yourself to the cookies. Ah, oh, my favourites, thanks. 
They look delicious, thank you. Let's look at the next section. You're welcome. How was your trip? You're welcome. Did you have any trouble finding the way? Notice that your welcome is used both in formal and informal situations. I hit some traffic on the motorway, but quite smooth overall. Let's make that sentence structure a little more formal. No, the directions you sent me were very clear, and there was hardly any traffic on the road. Excellent. How's your mum? Excellent. How's Mr. Samuels? She's very well. She sends her love. Let's put that in a formal context. He is very well. He sends his regards. Looking at the next section. It's a shame she couldn't be here today. Let's make that more formal sounding. It's a pity he couldn't join us today. It is. She'd have loved to see you both, but she had an appointment she couldn't get out of. Indeed. He would have really liked to come, but unfortunately he wasn't able to rearrange his schedule. Well, next time, I hope. Lunch will be ready soon. We thought we could go for a walk around town afterwards. You haven't really seen much of the town, have you? Let's look at the more formal structures in this context. Well, I certainly hope he can join you on your next visit. As for today's schedule, we thought we could have lunch first, and then show you around the company. How does that sound to you? No, I haven't. That'd be great. Compare that to... Very good. I'd really like to see your design centre. And now let's look at the last section of the two dialogues. I can hear Dave coming down now. He'll keep you company while I serve lunch. And in the formal style? Certainly. Well, I think that's Mr. Jensen coming now. I'll leave you in his good hands while I make the lunch arrangements. Great, it smells wonderful. Splendid, thank you very much. Okay, having compared the dialogues, we're now going to go through them one more time, this time more slowly and with some gaps for you to fill in. So when the gap appears, try to remember what the missing word or the expression was and say it out loud. This exercise will help you to revise and memorize some of the useful expressions in the two dialogues. Let's start with the informal style dialogue. Oh, hi, Jane. Come in. It's really... It's really nice to see you. Lovely to see you too. You're... You're looking great. Thanks. So... So are you. Let me take your coat. Okay, here... Here you go. Come to the living room. Come through to the living room. And make... And make yourself at home. I'll tell Dave you're here. 
What can I? What can I get you to drink? I don't mind really as long as as long as it's hot. What have you got? I've made some fresh tea, but you can coffee or hot chocolate. But you can also have coffee or hot chocolate. Tea will be lovely, thanks. How do you... How do you take your tea? Tiny milk. Tiny bit of milk. No sugar, please. Here we go, your tea and some cookies. And some homemade cookies. Ah, oh, my thanks. Ah, oh, my favorites, thanks. You're... You're welcome. How was your trip? I hit some traffic on the motorway, but smooth overall. But quite smooth overall. Excellent. How's your mum? She's very well. She sends... She sends her love. It's a, she couldn't be here today. It's a shame she couldn't be here today. It is, she'd have, see you both. She'd have loved to see you both. But she had an appointment, she couldn't. She couldn't get out of. Well, next time, I hope. Lunch will be... Lunch will be ready soon. We thought we could go for a walk around town. Around town, afterwards. You haven't really seen much of the town. You haven't really seen much of the town, have you? No, I haven't. That'd be... That'd be great. I can hear Dave coming down now. He'll keep you while I serve lunch. He'll keep you company while I serve lunch. Great. It wonderful. It smells wonderful. Okay, let's do the same exercise now with the formal dialogue. Good morning, Miss Bennett. Do. Do come in. Welcome. It's nice to see you again. And... And you. I've been very much... to this visit. I've been very much looking forward to this visit. So... So have we. May I take your coat? Certainly, here... Here you are. 
please have a seat and make Make yourself comfortable. I'll tell Mr. Jensen you're here. Would you like? Would you like something to drink? Yes, I... a hot drink. Yes, I wouldn't mind a hot drink, if at all possible. Of course, we have tea, coffee and hot chocolate. What? What would you prefer? Coffee would be great, thank you. How? Your coffee. How would you like your coffee? Uh, milk and one sugar, please. A drop of milk and one sugar, please. Here you are, please, to the cookies. Please help yourself to the cookies. They look, thank you. They look delicious, thank you. You're welcome. Did you have any trouble? Did you have any trouble finding the way? No, the you sent me were very clear. No, the directions you sent me were very clear. And there was any traffic on the road. And there was hardly any traffic on the road. Excellent. How's Mr. Samuels? He's very well, he sends. He sends his regards. It's a pity he couldn't... today. It's a pity he couldn't join us today. Indeed, he would have to come. He would have really liked to come. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to... He wasn't able to rearrange his schedule. Well, I certainly hope he can join you on your next visit. As for today's... As for today's schedule... We thought we could have lunch first, and then around the company. And then show you around the company. How does that... How does that sound to you? Very good. I'd really like to see your design centre. Certainly. Well, I think that's Mr. Jensen coming now. I'll leave you in his... while I make the lunch arrangements. I'll leave you in his good hands while I make the lunch arrangements. Splendid. Thank you very much. Well, that's all for this video on welcoming visitors. I hope you've enjoyed it. As you know, you can now go to our website, anglolink.com, where you will find examples and recordings of similar and other situational dialogues. 
Please also remember to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye now.